everyone, Tim Malamina here with Cozy Homestead. Today we're making beef jerky. We have three bowls, we're making three different batches. It's all made with London broil. You'll find London broil is most of the time cheaper than actually top round. So we also add in a tablespoon of black pepper, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and then we put in two big chilies for my vegetable garden that are really spicy. This one has a same thing, except we put in a tablespoon of crushed reds. And this one we put in an extra half a table, tablespoon of black powder, black pepper. This is one third cup Hoosier sauce, one third cup uh, soy sauce, and one third cup apple cider vinegar, and then a teaspoon of liquid smoke. We're gonna let this marinate for 24 to 48 hours, and we'll be back with another video. Hey everyone, Tim and Mama Mina here with Cozy Homestead. What was that look for? Dang. I mean, dang. So, it's been about 26, 27 hours since our London broil has been marinating for jerky. And now what we're doing is we're, we're taking it, we strained it, and we're going to pat off with paper towels the excess marinade and put it on a cooking rack. And then we're going to bake it. We use convection oven at 160 degrees. And it's going to take about three or four hours. So we're going to get this done and we'll be back with you here sure. when it's done. Sure. Bye guys. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all take care. All right, everyone. Tune on me here at Cozy Homestead. Jerky is done and it's looking fantastic. We're starting to already bag it up. So this is the chili flake jerky we did and this is the peppered jerky we did. It's all nice and dry, old fashioned style where you really have to tear into it to take a bite. This is the way we want it. We're gonna put this in Mylar bags with an oxygen absorber to preserve it for a long time. Um, this will last us years this way, especially with how dry it is. So we're gonna put an oxygen absorber in there and then seal them up and then we'll be good to go. You all tell us what you think. Um, keep in mind what I said about London broil on top round. Top round's normally about a half inch thick where London broil is normally close to an inch thick. A lot of times you can find London broil on sale at your supermarket and it'll be cheaper than top round like this was. Y'all take care, stay blessed, and enjoy.